Rep. John Conyers, Jr., from Wright, with Sen. Al Franken, D. Min, and Seconds. Of the Interior, Ken Salazar, applaud as President Barack Obama speaks before signing the Health Care and Education Reconciliation Act of 2010 at Northern Virginia Community College in Alexandria Tuesday, March 30, 2010, photo, Alex Brandon slash AP, file. Washington, Rep. John Conyers' attorney is demanding to know why Democratic lawmakers calling for Conyers' resignation aren't also urging the departure of Minnesota Sen. Al Franken, a Democrat who also faces allegations of sexual harassment. Attorney Arnold Reed last week noted that Franken has five accusers, while Conyers has four, alluding to a possible racial component to the calls for Conyers to resign. Conyers is black, and Franken is white. At the end of the day, Nancy Pelosi is going to have to explain what is the discernible difference between Al Franken and John Conyers. Reid told reporters. You have to ask Nancy Pelosi and the rest of them who are putting this pressure on the congressman and not these other individuals. No Senate Democrats have called on Franken to step down in a chamber where 52 Republican senators hold a narrow majority. The former Saturday Night Live comedian and writer has admitted to some of the allegations against him and apologized, but has indicated he doesn't plan to resign. Two new accusers emerged Thursday, including an Army veteran who claimed she, like three others, was groped while posing for pictures with Franken. Conyers has repeatedly denied accusations that he sexually harassed female aides, including inappropriate touching, on various occasions dating to 1997. The Detroit Democrat has admitted to settling a 2014 complaint with former staffer Marion Brown for $27,000 from his office account but Reed said it was to avoid the time and expense of protracted litigation. House Speaker Paul Ryan, Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi and three other Democratic House leaders turned on Conyers last Thursday, saying he should step down as another of the accusers went public with her story. Republicans hold a 241 to 196 majority in the House. Four members of the Michigan delegation Democratic reps Dan Kildee of Flint Township, Debbie Dingell of Dearborn, Sandy Levin of Royal Oak, and Republican Rep. Bill Heisinger of Zeeland, and several other lawmakers have also urged Conyers to depart. Zero tolerance means consequences for everyone, Pelosi said in her announcement. No matter how great, the legacy is no license to harass or discriminate. In fact, it makes it even more disappointing. A Pelosi spokesman didn't respond to a request for comment to Reed's criticism. Even South Carolina Rep. Jim Clyburn, the highest-ranking African American in the House, said his friend of 50 years and fellow member of the Congressional Black Caucus should step down, calling the complaints against Conyers credible. Rep. Cedric Richmond, a Louisiana Democrat, and other black lawmakers in Congress have suggested a different standard is being applied to Conyers. We've not been asked about it much, but Blake Ferrand hold on the Republican side.